This is Lesson 11.1, Statistical Questions and Variables. Our essential question is what kind of questions about quantities and relationships among quantities can be answered with statistics? So our first example is understanding statistical questions. So if we look at the first set of questions, we have in what month is your birthday? And then we have what month has the most birthdays of students at your school? So comparing those two questions, the first question in what month is your birthday would have one piece of information. Whereas if we're answering the question, what month has the most birthdays of students at your school, that would have a collection of many responses of many pieces. So our second question there is what we call a statistical question. Okay, and then the second one, does each graph represent the answer to a statistical question? So if we look at our two graphs, the one on the left is distance traveled to school. So we're comparing the student age with the distance that they travel in miles. And so this would be a collection of information. So we would have to survey students to find out their age and how far they travel to school, so this would be a statistical question, an answer to a statistical question. Okay, question my spelling. Okay, and then on the right, we have time, the travel time at 20 miles per hour average speed, so distance versus time. This is not a collection of data points, it's just a fact of how if we're traveling an average speed of 20 miles per hour, how much time and distance. So this would not be a collection of answers. Therefore, this would not be an answer to a statistical question. Okay, example two is talking about statistical variables. So we have two different types of statistical variables. So a statistical variable is something that can be measured or counted. So the first one says, what type of statistical variable is represented by the following question and corresponding chart? What is your favorite summer Olympic sport? So um, you think about what the answers would be to that question, and they're going to be, they're going to fall into a category. They're going to fall into a category of specific sports, and we have a limit to that. It's not, it can't be anything. It has to be a sport that is in the Summer Olympics. So this is what we call a categorical variable. So if your answers are going to fit into a category like track and field, basketball, swimming, gymnastics, then it's a categorical variable. Our second example says what type of statistic variable is represented by the following question and corresponding graph. So the question is what is the typical number of apps a teenager has on a smartphone. So if you think about the answers to that, you're going to get answers as numbers, numerical data. So if you're getting answers as a number, then we call that a quantitative variable. Okay, so those are the two different types of statistical variables. Okay, example three is distinguishing between populations and samples. So part A says a school newspaper randomly selects 30 students from each grade level to participate in a survey to determine the opinions of students at the school. What is the relationship between the sophomore surveyed, all the students surveyed, and all the students at the school? So what we're distinguishing here is what is the population and what is the sample? So the population is going to be, it's the set of all members in a group that you want to know something about. So if the school newspaper is randomly selecting 30 students from each grade, then we can assume that the group that they want to know something about is all the students at the school. So the population would be all students at the school. So that would be the population, and then the sample is 
a subset of the population that's being studied. So in this case, it would be the group of students being surveyed. Okay, part B says a polling organization randomly chose eligible voters in the state of Illinois to ask who they would vote for in an upcoming election for governor to determine who will win the election. What are the sample and the population in this scenario? So the population, again, is the group of people that we want to know something about. So if they're trying to determine who's going to win the election, the population would be all eligible voters in Illinois. It's not the whole population of Illinois because they're trying to use that data to determine whether or not um, or who is going to end up governor. So it would be all eligible voters in Illinois. Our sample would be the people that were surveyed. Okay, and our last example is distinguishing between parameters and statistics. So we're determining is the quantity a statistic or a parameter. So for A, it says a high school has three lunch periods. In a randomly selected lunch period, 24% of students brought lunch from home. So the 24% describes a sample of the population, okay, that was, so the sample the sample was the students that were in the selected lunch period. The population was the whole school. And so 24% would be a statistic because it's representing that amount of our sample. Okay. And then B says at the end of the first year of business, a movie theater collected data on how well its concession stand operated that year. The theater used its total yearly concession sales and number of tickets sold to calculate that the mean amount spent at concessions by a moviegoer was $8.14. Is this a statistic or a parameter? So since the theater included all moviegoers, they did not take a sample. They did all moviegoers and found an average amount per moviegoer. This would be considered a parameter. So if you're taking a sample and you get a value from that, it's going to be a statistic. If you're finding an average amount for all um, things, then that would be a parameter. Okay, so that is 11.1.